Good morning, afternoon, night, everyone. Kaito here. Welcome back to part two of why I love the world's strongest weird guard, Labyrinth Country's Novice Seekers. Now, um, I ended the last video by saying how, um, basically, this novel, the dungeon, the Isekai, or whatever, however I put it, <coughs> how it is basically like playing an MMO version of Elden Ring's. Because it's that hard. Now, I don't want you going into this novel if you're just going based off of that. I don't want you going into this novel thinking that you're basically reading a MMO um, Elden Rings. Like it's um, hardcore and all this stuff. You know, like you're not going to get an Elden Ring novel, I guess. It's, like, it's just the difficulty of the dungeon they're in. It's like if you're playing... Elden Ring in an MMO version style, whatever. And I'm going to explain what I mean by that. Okay, so. As I said in the last Why I Love This series. I think that's what I'm going to call this. Why I Love This. <coughs> um, so I said how they just got transferred in. You know, Abito and Irigashi, I think. And her name... Um, I I didn't look, but I call her Thricia, but her name might not be Thricia. I wanted to make this. I was thinking about this when I was at work. Uh, like I call her Thricia, but her name might not be Thricia. It might be like Thrasha or something like that. But the reason why I call her Thricia is because I'm a Fire Emblem fan. You know, my favorite Fire Emblem games are the Path of Radiance series. <coughs> and um, there is a Fire Emblem. I have not played it. It's an emulation, but... I could play in emulation, but I I haven't. I just haven't had time. But um, called Fire Emblem Thrishia is it then some numbers three numbers like seven seven six or something like that. I don't remember, but I always called it Thrishia, and so that's why I always called it Thrishia because that name like when I see her name, that's how I see it. It's Thrishia. But let me see because like I said, it might be Thrasha or something like that. But let me get the exact name because I'm sure like if you also read this, you're probably gonna be like. It triggers me when you say Thresia or something like that. You know, even though her name's not Thresia. That's just why I call her Thresia. Okay, let's see here. Okay, here's her name. Uh, this is Theresia. Theresia? But I always call her Thresia, so it's close enough, even though I'm probably getting it wrong. But um, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Okay, so like I said um, last time in part one, how they just died. And, you know, when you play an MMO, you usually grind up with, like, some weaker enemies and go and level up, right? <coughs> and I talked a bit about the leveling system. You know, when you level up, you get a lot of, depending on your job that you chose, um, when you level up, you get skills. And then you get skill points. Um, level one... I think only costs one skill point, and anything level two costs two skill points. And you don't get enough skill points to so you can get everything in your job. So you gotta be choose. You gotta choose what to do. So like again, if you're a rear guard, if your position is a rear guard, you might want to focus on rear guard <coughs> skills. If you are a mid guard, you might want to choose mid guard skills. And if you're a, a vanguard, you're gonna want vanguard skills, stuff for attacking, right? And maybe like movement, um, evasiveness, and stuff like that. Or if you're a tank, um, you might want stuff to up your defense. And, um, yeah. So, like I think I said, um, Obito has five skills. I don't I don't remember exactly what I said. I don't remember exactly what he got. But I think he has five skills and he only got three skill points. So he can only get three stuff. Or he might have two skill points. I don't remember. <clears throat> but, um, okay, so. <coughs> Sorry about my cough. Uh, because at my work, I, in my job, I work with a lot of dust, and since it's it's summer, or it's like beginning summer, it's really hot when I work, and so I usually breathe more out of my mouth because uh, I work outside, and because of the pollen, my nose gets a bit runny, so I usually breathe in my mouth, so I breathe in a lot of dust, which is why I cough a lot. <coughs> but anyways, um, so Obito is he wrote down rear guard and he doesn't know what his actual position is because a whole bunch of numbers or symbols not numbers it's a bunch of symbols that he doesn't even know and um so the receptionist that's working with him gave him a whole bunch of mercenary tickets because she feels kind of like it's her fault that he did this 
know that he's in this position. No, I think she the reason why she gave him is because she couldn't help him, like determine anything. So she like has an apology for not being able to help you. Here's some mercenary um tickets. So with the mercenary tickets, he hires Tricia, who's a thief, kind of. <coughs> she, I think that's her. I don't know if that's her job title, but um, again, I'll refer to the manga because it's easier to find in the manga than it is in the novel, since I got pretty pictures. Um, or I, I think I could do the manga because they kind of have um, special how they do it, how they do the skills thing. It's kind of unique, but I, but then again, okay, here we go. Okay, so she's a rogue, current party Abito, and there's his um, that's his job, um. I don't know what you call that. Diamond, black diamond, dollar sign, blank square. Level one. Theresia, Theresia, rogue, level three, mercenary. Okay, and here's the battle formations. Obito, rear guard, Theresia, vanguard, mid guard. Because they only have two um, people. So Obito does have a weapon. He has a slingshot. <coughs> I don't recall why he has a slingshot and you can say why didn't you get a sword or a shield and stuff like that i believe don't quote me on this but i because again i'm not i didn't i haven't read this in a while but um i believe it's because depending on the job you have you could it determines what kind of equipment you could equip so like if you write spear master for example you can't equip the sword i don't think you could equip the sword but again don't quote me on that but and he has a slingshot <coughs> so that's um his that's albito's would I just say Obito? Atobe. I'm like, why did I say Obito? I hope I haven't called him, been calling him uh, Obito this whole time. That's from Naruto. Atobe. Um, God, this is going to suck if I did call him Obito this whole time. Atobe. <coughs> um, he has a slingshot, and Theresia has a buckler. But is it kind of buckler? Like one, uh, one of those small round shields. And... Uh, is it a short sword? Or is it a curved sword? I don't remember exactly. She has a sword. I remember that. But um, let's see if I can find her picture of her with equipment. So you can kind of know. Okay, so it is a sword. Okay, so yeah. And here's the sword that she has. I don't, It might have a name. I just know none. There, there's the shield. Oh, good. Good art. Credit to um, Rikizo. And recommend the, the manga and the light novel. So check them out. <laughs> but um so they go into the dungeon and as i said before it's not an easy dungeon where you just grind a whole bunch of monsters and um then you could experience get level up pretty easily and do and bam you know you are level two um so there i don't remember all the monsters that are in level one of the first dungeon that he goes in the one i do remember is I think that I don't I know their name I don't know their names but they're like cotton ball rats, so they're like um, <coughs> you know they're like a cotton ball like about like this, and they have like the face of the rat and the tail of a rat out and again, cause manga, I'll find a picture of it. You kind of saw a little glimpse of it with um with Thresia right here when I showed your sword, it looks like that. Um, you can't see the face of the rat yet, but, um, okay, so that, this is a level one monster. It jumps at Atobe really quickly. He do, he can't, he doesn't even have time to dodge that 3CS, the one that dodges it, and bam, and that's how, how much damage it did to a tree. And that's when he kind of remembers, like, the warnings that they got are, like, they're hitting home for him. Like, this is no game. And the things are quick. To the point where Thresia, level 3, remember, this is a level 1 monster. Level 3 Thresia, Thresia, whatever, is hurt. So, um... <laughs> he orders a retreat, but they can't run because the cotton, this cotton ball is way faster than them. 
So Obito kind of just see he sees three three shot third shot whatever she's hurt. So he ends up getting the skills defense support one and attack support one. And what they do is defense support one. I read it yesterday, but it gives you ten points to defense and ten points to attack if they're standing in front of you. So he basically nullifies the um, all damage from the rat ball. Here it is, dead. But um, that was a near death experience from the uh, common fodder monster. <coughs> so, yeah, that's his first um, reality check that this is not a game and this is in fact Elden Ring. Like in Elden Ring, usually, no, not usually, but like in the um, Dark Souls games, is what I wanted to say. You know how usually, like in the tutorial, um, you die and so like that, like you learn how to fight and then like you fight, you fight your first boss and then you die. That's basically what this is, except that it's common fodder monster, but you live. You don't really die. And, um, yeah. And that was a level one rat cotton ball thingy. <coughs> and I could find this name. I, I could look for it in the novel. Uh, I would, actually. Because, again, like, the fighting system in, the, in this is kind of unique. Like, it tells you what's happening. Like, um, here we have a tobe attack hit cotton ball. Thirsty attack hit cotton ball. One cotton ball defeated. So it kind of gives you like, it reads you like in the stats. And the further in you go, the more, um, the more kind of, not complicated, but the, <coughs> oh, bless me, the more kind of um, detailed it becomes. You're like right here. And kind of a bit of spoilers, but you should know that by now. But, um, yeah. So, and there's another thing in this feature. So not only are common fodders that you will find like in random games, the cotton ball, um, not just are they strong, but there is another type of enemy that's strong. They are called named monsters. <clears throat> now you might be, <clears throat> Kaito, what's a named monster? Well, a named monster is, as it says, a named monster. They have a star by their name. You know, when you look at it in your license, um, like every species of monsters has a named version of it. And to summon it requires specific conditions, which a lot of people don't know about. Um, sometimes maybe you got to kill like a certain amount within a time limit. Um, sometimes a named monster would just spawn just because, it, you know, it's been a while since one's been spawned. But a whole bunch of conditions <coughs> could be met or have to be met. And again, a lot of people don't know about it. So for the cotton ball, a named monster version does appear like... Not that um, far, not that far into the novel. Like it's really quick. Like pretty much after defeating, um, after defeating the first cotton ball, like that you pretty much meet the named monster then and there. But um, and the named monster is a lot stronger than the common fodder. And how it happened was same day, same day he defeat. Like all this happened with the cotton ball thing. Um, Here's Red Face. And I believe it's level 5. So what happened was he heard a yell or people running. I don't remember one of the two. And <clears throat> so Atobe went to go find out what happened. And he sees his former boss like in locked in combat with some wounded adventurers or um, novice seekers. And she's trying to protect them. But um, they end up like dipping. They used a return, well, the leader of that group used a return scroll to um, leave the dungeon. You know, it's like a, a an emergency exit so you don't die. But the thing is with the, if you use a return scroll, you lose uh, contribution points. So you pretty much don't want to use it unless it's near death, you know. Like, who cares about a, a, a few points if it means you live. But um, since his boss, Irigashi, Irigashi. <coughs> his former boss, Irigashi, since she wasn't a part of that team, she didn't get teleported with them. She was just, I think she was solo, and she just, so she was there facing the name monster by herself. And Atobe came to rescue her um, with Trisha, and they were they put up a decent fight, but it wasn't a very good fight. Like, again, because it's like a level 5 monster, and they're level 1 and 3. And, um, Irigashi, like, she tried to stand up for herself, but the monster was so strong, it broke not only her spear, 
but it nearly killed her too. Like she was like on one HP. Um, yeah, let's see. Cause she sees like a Tobe fighting, and you know she kind of like recalls stuff, and she doesn't want to live with regrets anymore. So she that's why she like stands up and fights. But not only does and she uses a skill called Thunderbolt. I'm I'm reading it from the manga. She's a skill called Thunderbolt, and she tries to attack it, but it's so strong again that it not only breaks her spear, like here she is using the the move, the skill Thunderbolt. There she is charging. There's the tip of the spear, and boom, it just breaks. And she's like, it didn't activate. It did activate. It just had no effect. And then, boom, near death. Like, damn. <laughs> So, um, he tries, he tries her, um, his best to, little fan service, um, he tries his best to get her to join the party, and then she's like, you know, um, I'm sorry, I acted so confident, but again, I'm just using you, even though you, we've been reborn, run, I tell you. I don't want to be the reason you... And she was going to say die, but I think she passed out. But um, she was able to... Um, they were able to kill Redface. And how they were able to kill Redface is... Again, with attack support. If, as long as... Tharsia... Th I, I'm not going to call her by her right name because I keep... Uh, Thresia just engraved in my head. <coughs> because she is... Um, as long as she lines an attack, an extra 10 damage will be dealt to Redface. So all you really need is just enough attacks and you'll end up killing it, which is what happened. And then, um, still re really weak, um, his boss, Irigashi, was able to accept the party invite from Atobe. And using um, that one skill that he had, um, the support skill from the back, I want to, I want to get its, its name. Um, recovery support. Using recovery support one, he was giving her, like, giving back HP every 30 seconds or 5 seconds. I forgot which one. I just saw it, but I didn't read it. I just wanted the name for it. So he was giving her HP back little by little. <coughs> so he saved her. And they ended up forming a party. And she actually thought she was going to go sleep in the barn. But, um... But not since they're like, you know, since, you know, we're a party. Um, since we're a party, you know, we sleep together and they sleep at a hotel. And um, Atobe returns three shit to the Mercenary Guild. And she does something that the Mercenary Guild girl um, hasn't seen her do. She reacted to Atobe. Like, she went up to Atobe, patted him on the shoulder and left. She can't talk. <clears throat> and then she's like, it looks like she got a liking. She took a liking to you. Like, what'd you do? Because, you know, it's like she doesn't like anybody. And, you know, so he's like, well, he talks about wanting to buy Thresia. Like, is there a way to permanently buy Thresia? And she's like, you need 100 uh, mercenary tickets and you could permanently buy a mercenary. So he's like, okay, I'll, you know, he'll save up for that. <clears throat> and when you defeat a name monster, you also have a chance. You get a whole bunch of contribution points. Not only that, and a lot of XP because it's a name monster. But you can you can also almost not always. You can you have a chance to for it to drop a box. And what a box contains is just a whole bunch of loot. So it could be coins. It could be armor from adventurers. Redface has defeated before stuff like that i don't don't, don't quote me on adventures is defeated before I, I don't know if red face defeats it or just adventures that have been defeated on, on that floor before you know if no one claims it maybe it like gets sucks into it or something like that i don't know how the box works but think of it as a treasure chest like a really good treasure chest where you just get a whole bunch of crap and it it, it has a it's color coded i don't remember all the colors but i remember the the hardest one or not the hardest one but the one with the most loot is a black box and they have traps, of course. So when you, if you find a box, a treasure box, you want to take it to a cracksmith, I think is what they're called, 
or treasure box cracks them, something like that. But they navigate through the traps to make sure, because the traps could be anything. It could, it could be a teleportation, it could be a self-destruct, it could um, unleash a whole bunch of monsters, depending on the box and the trap. <coughs> depending on the color of the box and the trap. So, um, yeah, they find um, a box from Redface. They open it, and it's a whole bunch of money and some armor. And, um, yeah, then they go to the guild, and they kind of, Atobe, since he's the party leader, he kind of, like, goes with the receptionist. I forget her name. No, Luis. I, he calls her by her last name, you know, professional, but her first name's Luis. And um, she's, like, shocked that he he, uh, he just became a novice seeker day one and already defeated a new monster. Like, like what the heck? Like, dude, you, you, sh you should have died. <coughs> but um he didn't and then they meet um eliana i don't know if that's her actual name but this chick right here and they meet suzu i believe that's her name i hope Su suzuana and suzuana is a maiden shrine maiden that's her job and eliana is the um is a Berserk sword users fence or something like that something that has to do with swords. I can't remember her exact title off the top of my head Cursed sword something like that. I think that's her title not like her nickname the the death Death something I don't know. I'm talking about stuff. That doesn't matter. They meet them and they kind of team up with them because um temporarily because uh Suzuana I'm, I'm just gonna call her Suzu Suzu's friend was kidnapped she saw a box. She tried to open it and got teleported. So they're trying to go and find her. And so the, October goes with them. Again, I'm leaving, I'm leaving out a whole bunch of context. Because I'm saving that for the review. And what it was is an ambush set by other novice seeker. Because they awakened a named monster that they cannot beat. <coughs> so, you know, getting Trisha again. Because it's the next day. They went to go hire Trisha again. Because, like, Atobe, he, he, he thinks Thresia is already... He already considers Thresia part of the... Part of the group. So that's why he hired he hires her every day until he buys her. Um, so... But Eliana says, I don't want to be a part of the group. I'll be with y'all, but I won't be with y'all. If you know what I mean. Like, they'll, they'll travel together, but she'll be, like, from outside the party. She won't be a part of the main party. And she says it's for their safety. She's level 8, I believe. So, you know, you might think, you know, well, she's level 8, you know, so she can, she could solo that dungeon. No, that's how hard this dungeon is. She, a level 8 can't even solo a, a beginner dungeon, a named monster. Like, she needs help. <coughs> and I'll get to that why in a minute. Like, this is a level 8. So, keep that in mind. Elena is, uh, El Elena. Eliana is level 8. Okay, keep that in mind. And I, by this point, I told you, I think it's level 2. Three, she has level 4, I believe. And I think... Irigashi, she's still level one because she didn't, she wasn't in the party when Redface was defeated. <coughs> but she might be level two by the time they fight the ne next named monster. So they go in, they fight the named monster. Um, Suzu, I think, is level two by now because you know she was going with Eliana, and they fight. They find, they find um, Suzu's friend. I forget her name. I want to say Mika, Mika, Mikazi, something like that. I I want to say that, but I I, can't, I don't know for sure. But um, they find her. She's passed out. They save her, and a named monster appears because it's the group that, you know, this was all an ambush. So Elena, Eliana could <coughs> kill the named monster for them, and they'll take the credit for it. I don't know how that works. It was just like it was so complicated. But I just and I even don't remember all the details. And I don't want to give wrong, too wrong information because I'm sure some of the stuff I'm saying is either wrong or slightly misleading. So I don't want to be too misleading or wrong. And I'll save that for the actual inter uh, review of it. But, um, <coughs> so they're finding the name monster now. And it's this big ogre. Iliana cannot damage this ogre looking thing. And I'm pretty sure. And this is the party setup, basically. Um, so like if the back of the mangas, you kind of see like who's in the party and the party setup. And like I said, Iliana's not part of the group, but she still acts as the vanguard. And then there's um, Irigashi, and then there's Trisha, and then Suzu and Atobe as the rear guards. That is her friend, but she's not part of the group because at this point she's passed out. Like, she's just out cold. But um, 
I'll show you a picture of the ogre looking thing. Let's see. This thing. Um, I don't know what it's called. But um, something happens to Ileana during this fight. <coughs> she got blood splattered on her. And when that happened, she went into berserk mode. Because you find out that she is holding a cursed sword. And that cursed sword forcibly changed her job title. Which is why I don't remember it. And um, she, I think she said she used to be a fencer. But it was, it was changed to whatever that cursed sword gave her. And when there's blood on her, she goes into berserk mode where her um, attack and speed go up, but her defense goes down. <coughs> Something like that. And But she has a hard time controlling herself, so she just lashes out at everything, which is why she didn't want to be at the party because she didn't want to hurt them. But they end up um, kind of bringing her to her senses. Atoba does when she finally accepts... Um, when she accepts being in the party, I don't want to say harem, but it kind of basically kind of harem. When he accepts, when she accepts, he kind of uses his skills and she kind of like calms down. And that ogre thing, the name monster, she cannot damage it. Like when she hits it, it has a, it, the ogre has a specific ability that says uh, it is immune to physical attacks. So. You can only hit it with magical attacks. Okay. Now that's the problem. They don't have any magical attack seekers. I mean, technically they have um, Irigashi with Thunderbolt. That's a magic attack. But they can't get any hits. Like, she's too low level. And this ogre is like level 6 or something. I don't know. I, so don't quote me again. Don't quote me on this. On the levels, don't quote me exactly. Because I don't know. <coughs> so, um, they, you know, a level 8 can't fight this because it, it's immune to physical attacks but atoba has um attack support 10 which does go through so as long as they could get a hit they could hit they take away 10 points of damage so that's the plan it's just could continue not taking hits and delivering a whole bunch of attacks until they kill it and they do it and a whole bunch of people get um points and they find another box <coughs> now by this point when they open it um they open the box and they got a crap ton of money. Atobe buys a whole bunch of mercenary um, um, tickets and buys Trisha completely now. And, you know, now uh, everyone and you see in the back here joins the party. And so then they go into the dungeon again. And, you know, they're leveling up. They're getting new skills. And now they got a special. Now, now they got, like, their special unlocked. So, I think it's called Moral Support. Don't Again, don't quote me on that. But they basically unlock their special. And depending on their job class, determines what's special. And she is a gambler. I, again, I don't remember her name, but she's a gambler. That's her job class. Valkyrie. I forgot hers. Rogue. Uh, Shrine Maiden. But that's the party setup. They end up finding a, they find, they end up finding a secret room where there is a god contained. You don't find that out until later. But they end up fighting this big monster, and Atobe literally almost dies in during this fight. They're fighting like this guardian-looking thing, and um, I believe Irigashi. Her special is she can make a um, she can make a clone of everybody, one clone of everybody. And just other stuff. Anyways, but um, what I wanted to show is this thing was so strong it had an AOE attack. This guardian that they're finding had an AOE attack. And Atabi was able to save everyone but himself. And you can see kind of here how they're kind of panicking because Atobe was hit. And he's bleeding. And so they think like he's going to die because these are like sharp attacks. Uh, you know, but he's still continuing the fight. Now we can do this, right? The being all badass and stuff. They beat it. They find the god. The god protects them, and <clears throat> you know they kind of find out a little bit more about the dungeons. But it has they they're left with more questions than answers. So they're like, "Crap, okay, well, um, 
she gives them their protection and there's a whole bunch of other stuff but basically how volume one ends like this is all in volume one so don't think i'm like i'm like in volume four or something this is all in volume one how volume one ends is there's this thing called a stampede or is that how is it how it ends let me see let me see the titles because again i don't want i, I don't want to like actually i'm probably already on volume two which could be a possibility maybe i am in volume two maybe let's see Yeah, I think I am on volume two. Let me check volume two. Okay, yes, I am in volume two. Volume one ends with um, the hit, or it starts... Volume... Yeah, volume two starts with the hidden gods awaken. Okay, so... Um, I'll just talk a bit about... Uh, volume 2, I guess, since I already hit the 30 minutes, but I'll talk a bit about it. But basically, um, one of the last things they do in District 8, because they got they contributed so much where um, they can move up into the next district. So District 7 is where they're going to head to next. But they had to pass the test because they're at this point, they're now ranked number one. So what they had to do is have to pass the test. And the test determines, like, you know, you got to meet some contribution points for, or you got to meet some conditions first. Like, I, to move up districts, I could say, like, meet and defeat one named one named monster, for example, right? Spend three days in the dungeon. And I'm just, I don't know what the exact conditions are. I'm just saying some examples. Meet, uh, meet and kill a named monster. Spend three days in the dungeon. Get 5,000 contribution points in one exper exploration or expedition. <coughs> Stuff like that. And, um... So they were about to do that, but an emergency happened, a stampede. And what a stampede is, is a dungeon who that has not had enough adventurers. D don't quote me word for word, but um, a dungeon that hasn't had enough adventurers or seekers go in and kill the monsters starts overpopulating that it floods the dungeon. When that happens, they come out of the dungeon and start attacking the city. And you get a lot of contribution points for... Um, for contributing in a stampede. So what happens is a whole bunch of people that Atobe met, you know, other parties and so, like the and, um dissect monster dissectors and all these other things start helping out. And Atobe is a big part of this stampede um thing. And <coughs> he ends up capturing three harpies. And yes, you could capture monsters. There's a thing called a monster ranch where if you capture enemies, you could send them to the monster ranch and they'll be trained and tamed and you could call them whenever you need support. So Atobe captures three harpies and they look feminine, which is why I think he kept, no, he didn't really catch, he didn't really catch them for that. According to the manga, the reason why he captured them is because they were about to kill them. But then this little girl was like, are you going to hurt that bird lady? And, you know, cause there's a kid that's there. It's, it's one of the children of the, of the crackers. The ones that um, open up the treasure boxes. So, it's the daughter of, of the one that they went to. And, you know, are you going to kill the bird lady? And they're like, uh, uh, uh. And that's when Eliana was like, you know, we could. Uh, or, I don't think it was Eliana. It could have been somebody else. That's in the manga. I don't know if it was in the, li in the light novel how that happened. But, yeah. So, they capture three harpies. Which are really good. Because they're, they have skills to put people to sleep. And monsters. So... Yeah, I think that's a good skill. So that's where I think I'll leave it. So I'll leave it there. And I know this wasn't like the best review because I do like this, but I don't remember everything that happened in it. And especially there is one, I think it's volume five. I literally don't remember that much from it. I read it, but I just don't remember. Like it didn't stick in my head for some reason. I might have to read it again. But um, again, this is a why I love it. And I'm just talking about stuff about it. But um, anyways, peace, love, bye.